My name is Peter. I'm a freshman at Cornell and in the College of Arts and Sciences, and my major is astronomy. I've been working at the Science Center since l late last fall semester. The reason I, I, I came to the, the Science Center is because I was interested in, a, in, in finding a, a, a public outreach position in Ithaca, um, and the Science Center is basically like the hub for communicating to the public. So when I, when I heard about it, I knew that I, I wanted to be a part of it. My name is Lizette. I go to Cornell. I'm a freshman. I'm studying chemistry or biology. Not totally sure yet. I've only been here for I think close to a month now. I started at the beginning of February. I've always been interested in science and I've always been really into school. Um, so I knew that I wanted to work with the community. Um, I knew that I wanted to either volunteer or do anything I could to get involved um, and connect the two worlds, I guess, science and um, the community around me. So my parents always took me to museums. And so when I found out that the Science Center was a place where I could be the other person or play the other role for somebody that I knew I was when I was younger, I thought that was a really good opportunity to um, branch out my abilities or my skills and kind of teach the younger generation or the community around me how to develop those skills in the same way that I did when I was growing up. So, yeah. Basically, I just I, I do what uh, what the the large core of volunteers do uh, do on the daily, and that's basically uh, whatever the science center needs to to best communicate uh, its its message of, of uh, curiosity and discovery to the community. Um, so whether that be operating the discovery space and making sure uh, children have access to different activities and crafts, or uh, working in the animal room to introduce some of our ambassadors of their species to the community or uh, just just helping out in other capacities. I like to see us as an intermediate between um, the children's home life and let's say what they learn in school. Um, so I guess it's really meaningful to me that we're able to be that kind of middle ground in a more casual setting and help them um, further their education and further their passion for science hopefully in the future. So I want to uh, pursue a career in astronomy, and uh, that that includes uh, you know the more scientific process. Um, but also, I mean, there's really no point of doing science if you're not going to be able to share it with other people. So I, I, I've always thought that it was important to know how to communicate what you're what you're doing to other people. And I don't know. Uh, I think it's just such a great place that uh, it, it's a it's a good place to practice. Um, talking about things that you're passionate about. I know ultimately I do want to go to med medical school. I do want to work with children. I want to become a pediatrician, kind of help them establish that that help so that they're able to learn and grow. And so I think being here is a good way for me to hone in on my skills to work with children, especially. I think that's one of the bigger things that I was really looking forward to when um, I applied to work here. And yeah, hopefully it, it'll just provide me with more personal skills as opposed to the concrete kind of like science skills that I gain at school. On campus, it's very easy to just feel like you're you're trapped and like there's school and that's it. But when I come down to the Ithaca Science Center, it's it's kind of it kind of reminds me that I'm not just a student; that I'm also part of a larger community. I don't actually think I would have any connections to Ithaca otherwise. I think I I would just stay in my dorm all day long, do homework. Um, so without the Ithaca Science Center, I probably wouldn't have as many connections to the, the community as a whole as I do.